Hello, my friends. It's Miss Jenny here. Um, I want to let you all know that I miss you so much and I wish we could be in the classroom together still. I'm sure um, a parent or an adult has told you that there is a virus, a sickness going around right now. And to be safe, we have to stay in our houses. Um, I'm happy that you're safe, uh, but I do miss you and I want you all to know that your teachers love you very much. I'm going to read our class book that we last were reading together, The Three Little Aliens and the Big Bad Robot. Once there was a mama alien who had three little aliens. They were called Bork, Gork, and Nickelswick, but their mom called them Nick. The three little aliens grew up in a snug, cozy crater on a tiny little planet. As the eons passed, their house got too crowded. Very crowded house. I bet your house feels crowded right now. Mine does. It is time for you to find a planet of your own, their mama told them. But remember, watch out for the big bad robot. It wants to chew you up. So Gork, Bork, and Nick took off. Bye, Mama, they cried. Bye, kids, she shouted back. Always stick together, she added, and called me every once in a while. The three little aliens traveled far and fast. There's a cute little planet, said Bork. Too hot, said Nick. How about that one, said Gork. Too crowded, replied Nick. Are we there yet? Can you remember which one is too crowded and which one is too hot? Mm. Then a big planet swirling with dust loomed into view. Bork spotted a shiny space rover zipping around its mountains and plains. Awesome, she said. I'm gonna live in that. But Ma said to stick together, called Nick. But Bork was too far away to hear. Which planet did Bork find with the rover? It's a red. Can you remember? Nick didn't like the looks of the next planet. Nowhere to breathe, he gasped. Picky, picky, Gork said. Then, just ahead, he spied a giant planet with huge golden rings around it. Hmm, what planet could this be? He jumped on a passing satellite and caught a ride on a ring. Wee! he squealed. This is what I'll call home. We can't live here, yelled Nick. We'll get dizzy. But Gork wasn't paying any attention. What planet has big rings that Gork is now orbiting? Now Nick was all alone. He traveled deeper and deeper into space until he spotted a massive blue planet. It had 13 moons and refreshing breezes. This faraway place is where I'll build my home, he said. It will be safe from the big bad robot. Nick found everything he needed to make sturdy walls. Then he grabbed a shiny telescope. This will do for a chimney, he said. His house was not very zippy or cool, but it was very safe. And there was room enough for all three little aliens. I sure hope they come to visit soon, Nick said. Then, one galactic dawn, there was a rumbling in the universe. Great boink me, Billy, deep or keep. It was the big, bad robot. Bork was so busy on her swirly red planet that she didn't feel the robot's giant footsteps as it leapt from star to star. And she didn't see the robot until it was right in front of her rover. Uh-oh. Little alien, little alien, bleeped the robot. Pull over, pull over. Not by the wheels of my trusty space rover, cried Bork. Then I'll crack and smack 
and whack your house down meets the robot. Oh, man. And just like that, the robot cracked and smacked and whacked Bork's shiny rover into a hundred pieces. Bork jetted away, the robot close behind her. Just as the robot was about to eat her up, she spotted Gork's satellite house. Gork, Gork, help me, she cried. But Gork was having so much fun surfing on the rings of his great big planet that he didn't hear a thing until the big bad robot caught Gork's satellite in his huge metal claw. Little alien, little alien, he broinked, come out of hiding. Not by the orbit of this ring I'm riding, cried Gork. Then I will shatter and clatter and scatter your house down, groaned the robot. And before Gork could fly beneath the radar, that robot clattered and scattered and shattered Gork's satellite into a thousand pieces. Gork barely escaped. Over here, cried Bork, stick together. Bork and Gork blasted out into space, with the big bad robot getting closer all the time. Where can we hide? asked Gork. Let's find Nick. He'll know what to do. How oh, they're on the run. Nick had heard the robot's roar. He had seen what was going on with his brother and sister through his telescope, and he was ready. He flashed his solar panels halfway across the universe. There he is, cried Bork, and they zoomed to Nick's house as fast as hurtling asteroids. Get inside, cried Nick. No time to waste. Here he comes. No sooner had Bork and Gork slammed Nick's solid door than they heard the robot rumbling. Little alien, little alien, it bleeped. Let me come in. Not by the slime on my chinny chin chin, cried Nick. Then I'll smack and crack and whack your house down, Zeke the robot. Oh man. The big bad robot bashed and crashed Nick's strong solid house, but nothing happened. Then it pounded and smashed really hard, not a crack. Then it loaded up its triple blaster and zapped that house good. But the house wouldn't fall down. So the robot forced its way into the little alien's house, right down the chimney. Creep body. But halfway down the telescope, the robot got stuck tight. It strained and it struggled. It moaned and it groaned. Nick's house shook and shuddered, but did it fall down? No way. The robot gave one more mighty cry and then he burst into a million pieces. Whoa. Cool, said Bork. Awesome, said Gork. Just as I planned, said Nick. But there's only one thing missing. Phone home, said Gork. So Nick did. Ma, he said, we have the coziest house in the galaxy. Won't you come tuck us in? I'll be right over, Ma said. And that was our book, The Three Little Aliens and the Big Bad Robot. I'm happy you got to read along with me today. Again, I miss you all so much and stay tuned because we'll be sending more videos for you to watch and we hope to hear from all of you. Bye.